This is definitely my favorite time of day. Just getting up in the mornings, fixing my coffee, and checking on everything. I love the flowers in this planter I found at the thrift store. A pot of different herbs here. The little fairy garden around the lavender looks really sweet. The May apples are really pretty and just so full of life after the rain we've had. Good morning, old bed frame. The little water garden looks good. When they have the plant sale at the botanical gardens, I hope to get a horsetail to add to this. The peas are all coming up and they look good. The tomato plants look good. And everything looks good in the little greenhouse. Probably just need to give these things some water. I've always been creative, but I guess I've never given a lot of thought to just how much I need to create things to stay happy. In order for me to be happy, I have to have a creative process of some kind going all of the time. When I ignore that part of myself, I become unhappy and I am unfulfilled. Art journals have had my heart at the center of my creative outlet for the last few years. I've also started again playing with the dollhouse that's in the workshop. When my daughter was about 10 years old, we started making our own doll furniture and dolls out of repurposed materials. So today for Trashy Tuesday, I am bringing in an idea that I carried out for the dollhouse. I also wanna share these really fun little snippets or clusters that I started making when my friend Jay and I were in South Carolina. When Jay and I were traveling recently, we spent some time in the lobby doing journaling and crafting. And one of the things that I came up with just sitting there at the table, and it's not anything earth shattering. A lot of people have done little uh, snippets and clusters and different embellishments that you can put into your junk journals. I just started pulling pieces of paper out of some of the brochures, uh, the map that I had, and I stacked them all together and sewed a button on top. There's another one. So there's another one, and they're just really cute. They, they're just cute, that's all. Now that I'm back home, I wanna use up some of these supplies, and you know, especially these buttons. They're so bright and colorful. I do still have pieces of paper from the trip that can be incorporated into these, and obviously I have a lot of scrap paper already in my workshop. Jay and I talked at the little table we were working at about how neat it would be uh, to add some texture to these. And she tried crumpling a couple of pieces of paper and I love the effect of that. It did give it more dimension. I also knew that once I got home, I have this Fiskars. It's sort of a corrugator, I guess. It, it folds the paper, I don't know what to call it. But you just get that paper where it will feed into the rolls and you press this handle and then when you turn it the papers come out rippled. I thought what I would do is just use up more scraps of paper by putting together layers and having a good time sewing buttons to these. I feel like the more layers and the more color, the better. You can't really go wrong with these. You could even take random words. This is from a vintage stock guide. And you know, just play around until you have a color combination that you like. That one's pretty cool. It doesn't all have to be perfectly centered. I am so happy to be here with a heavy needle and thread. It's gonna make this process a lot easier. In the hotel lobby, I was using the little sewing kit from the Dollar Tree, and it did work, but it was not that easy to work with. Gotta be careful not to get your finger. So I'm just gonna sit here, sew a few of these up. Just sew this into place. Put on a good video or some music and enjoy making some fun embellishments. When you tie it off in the back, you can just run that thread under 
loop around a couple of times and pull it tight to make a knot. And likely you're going to glue that down so it's going to stay in place. These are some of the pieces that I ended up with after sewing the buttons on different layers. You can add pieces of lace. You can add fun pictures from old book pages. It's a great way to use up scraps. You can cut some of your favorite images out of scrapbook paper and incorporate those. Don't forget to use words. You can see I tied these a little bit differently. The first one was tied in the back. But then with these, I decided to leave a length of thread in the front and tie them in the front. I think that's really pretty. And I think this makes for a really pretty junky flower in her hair. This is part of a pair of tweezers that I found in the parking lot while I was out the other day. Now let's look at the dollhouse. This scrap piece of fabric I found is gonna be perfect for a rug. And this box that I found in a thrift store used to have a watch in it, and I think it would make a perfect chair for one of our baby dolls. I think this is gonna be so perfect. A lot of times when you pull apart a box like this, you will have components that you can flip around or cut down and use to complete your project because they're already shaped and sized for the box. They might just be oriented a little bit differently. This was inside the box, but I pulled it out and cut part of the sides off and then glued it back in to make a chair back. It was put in and folded in such a way to give some height to the inside and to make a little space for this thing to fit in. But I want a chair and I want a cushion to fit in here. So I've taken some of my scrap fabric and I cut a circle. What I did first was trace the bottom of this and then cut out the circle a little bit smaller. And I have my two pieces of fabric cut into circles and then a strip long enough that I could sew it to the top and the bottom. Now, my mother taught me to sew when I was very young and she would, while she was working on something, she would give me scraps of fabric and a needle and thread. And I can remember clearly sitting under a kitchen table and sewing my very first basting stitch. So I don't have patterns or anything, and you can see where I've kind of missed the seam here because I got a little close, but we are dealing with tiny things, and this is a trash project after all. Since I'm not using a pattern, and since this is not a perfect science the way I'm doing this, I just wanted to be able to flip this piece of fabric under the edge there, and we're gonna try to just spread these cotton balls out kind of even them out everywhere so that we have the same amount of fluff all around the pillow. And cotton balls are actually kind of hard. It's not the thing you wanna use if you're really gonna stuff something. Um, but anyway, now that that's tucked under, I'm just gonna take a needle and some thread and I'm gonna stitch it closed and we'll have our cushion. And this is the way the stitching looks. It's not perfect and I knew it wouldn't be, but at least there are not any raw edges and it's really not bad for just a trash project. There's not much in the room yet, but Baby Doll is in there in her chair. I think we need to do something more to the chair. Maybe cover up the word citizen, but I don't know. Do you think trash should just be obviously trash or should we totally repurpose it? We could also cover the back with some vintage fabric and lace and put a pillow in the chair. Obviously she needs some good clothes. These are pretty much dry rotted. I'm probably gonna move that picture. It's still in there from when my daughter and I played dollhouse. As far as the little chair in the dollhouse, I'm pretty sure you can figure out where we're going with the dollhouse. There's gonna be a lot of repurposing. I know my granddaughter is gonna love this when she has a chance to come over and visit. The little embellishments are very easy to make and they're fun, kind of a mindless thing to do and stock up on while you're watching a video or listening to music. And definitely let me know what you think about this. If you think we should go ahead and finish out this chair with fabric and perhaps a cushion in the back and make it really, really special. 
or do you think something trashy should look like trash? Thank you so much for watching. I will be back really soon. Bye for now.